We're back! Welcome to episode 23 of Matt on Music. Apparently I haven't been doing enough music lately, uh, which is really weird. Uh, so this is actually from January. I just don't like video editing, so it's been sitting around. But here we have another great Baroque piece of music, uh, once again by Handel, George Frederick Handel. This is from one of his... Uh, it's not, not a musical. It's, it's an opera of sort of sorts. Uh, it's called um, Scipio Africanus, named after the famous Roman general. Uh, okay, Scipio, Scipio, whatever. You know, people like to argue about pronunciation in Latin. It's like a hobby. Uh, anyway, so Scipio, as we call it on in fife and drum, this was actually uh, arranged by. Uh, someone with Colonial Williamsburg uh, down in Virginia. They have a lot of historical pieces of music, both fife and drum parts, published in a number of different books. So this is from one of those collections. It's a slow march, and it was arranged for a fife and, well, and drum, but uh, in terms of the fife music, there's both a melody and a harmony that someone wrote for it. And so that's what um, I have been playing for a very long time with the group that I play with in Stowe. But after a while, taking another look at it, we, we were thinking, well, it would be fun to play this tune again. Um, and so I was thinking, well, I, I don't really like this harmony all that much, if I have to be honest. So what I did was I looked up Handel's original versions in the opera and other uh, forms of it that have come into being since then, and it turns out that the harmony could actually be a bit more historically accurate, a bit more faithful to the original. So what I've provided for you here in this wonderful video, in my very humble opinion, is a comparison of both versions. So first, um, me and me will play the old uh, Williamsburg arrangement of it. And then me, me, and me will play uh, my revised version of it. So, without further yammering about, Scipio. fun, right? I mean, it's stately, it works, um, I don't mean to disparage it, but I figured this could be a little more faithful to the original. So let's see what happens now.
go. Um, for those curious about the, some of the music theory or composition decision making that's going on here, um, again, this is me arranging what Handel wrote. So this isn't really my creativity at work so much as it is um, me sort of reclaiming his music, his work, and making it uh, fife worthy, shall we say. Uh, one of the key differences that makes this arrangement more exciting than the previous one from uh, Virginia is that there's a, a wider range of chords that are being produced. Uh, the main example to me that made the most difference is right at the beginning. Dun, da, 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 da. If you just take that melody by itself, you're staying, it apparently you're staying on the same chord, the tonic, the, the, the chord that is the same as the key that you're playing in, which um, is supposed to be D major, even though I'm singing it in the wrong key probably, but um, D, E, F sharp, A, D. Uh, and so what the old harmony from Williamsburg does is Da, 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 it stays in that same key area and the chord does not move, which is nice and easy, but that's not what Handel does. Handel takes advantage of the fact that D at the, at the end of that phrase can be in a different chord. So he uh, does something to the effect um, dun, da, 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 da. So there you get um, the relative minor, the B minor chord. Da, 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 da. So instead of um, this long D major thing, it goes from D major to B minor, which gives you a bit of, not tension per se, but it gives you a sense of movement. Something actually happens in that opening phrase, and now we have to proceed to resolve that and continue on. So there are a number of moments like that throughout the arrangement. So um, just a little bit of uh, music theory and uh, a little insight there into what's going on between these two versions. Anyway, so thanks for watching. Thanks for putting up with my uh, musical oddities. And uh, until next time. <laughs>